Hello, <clears throat> uh, this is Greg. I'm demonstrating now uh, the photo shoot potential, but I'm using the microphone that's embedded within the camera. And as you can tell, it captures not only the speaker, but all of the background noise. It just so happens that my grandfather clock is chiming right now, so you can tell how much background noise or other sound will affect the interview. So now I will demonstrate the Lavalure uh, sound capture, which is much better, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate the use of a Lavalure, which is a lapel mic. You just simply pin it to your collar or your shirt, and it records the uh, audio and much clearer, and it separates out the background noise so you can pay attention to uh, the, the answers being, being explained and uh, be less distracted by external uh, sound. Okay, that's the demonstration of the Lavalure mic. Okay, so this is Greg again. Uh, I want to demonstrate the uh, video portion. Uh, we have the camera stationed in so that I'm looking directly into the camera, but this is just off the, to the right of the person sitting in the interview seat. The, that is the person asking the questions, doing the interview. I'm sitting in seat number two, which is the person being interviewed, the per person answering questions or explaining uh, things. So the camera is facing me now, but when I'm looking at the person that is asking me questions, what I'm trying to do is capture the answers being given as if the camera was observing the interview session from a from a second person or third person perspective. In other words, I'm not speaking directly into the camera. I'm actually looking at the person that has asked me the questions. Now we're going to have another camera focused on chair number one, which is the person asking the questions or doing the interview. And so we're able to cut back and forth. When one person begins speaking, we'll cut the camera to view that person and possibly uh, uh, cut back when the person's finished and cut back to the other person, back and forth as each person is speaking. I said that kind of, uh, it's kind of mixed up the way I said that, but you got the, you got the picture. Now I'm going to look back at the camera. If I ever want to look at the camera and answer a question, like let's say for example, I just want to say what, who you are, where you came from, what your, what your uh, uh, background is, what your qualifications are, and why you're doing this interview. Then we cut back to the person that's asking the questions and we begin the interview. Okay, this is Greg again. So now I'm sitting in chair number one, which is the person conducting the interview. I'm looking at the camera at the moment, but let's say I'm looking at the person that I'm going to be talking to. So this is the picture that you're going to get. You notice how the camera, both cameras are not in view. Only the subjects are in view. And they're, they're having a conversation with each other. And each time someone speaks, the camera will be, the, 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 cap, the film that's captured will be cut to that person who is speaking. So back and forth, back and forth. And we do have the ability, I'll turn back to the camera now, we have the ability to zoom in and zoom out. So when one person is speaking, the other camera may be zooming in and taking a picture of the other person that's listening, so that it doesn't always have to be st uh, stationed on the person talking. You may cut back to uh, take a picture of the person listening, so that when the person who is saying something is saying something profound, and the other person who's listening has a reaction like, oh, really? Like, wow. Oh, that's, that's good. They shake their head up and down. You may want to capture that gesture to reaffirm what the 
person that's speaking is saying. So you have the ability to do that when you're when you're uh, when you have two different pieces of film that you can splice and cut back and forth. The the soundtrack will remain constant, so that you don't have to cut and chip away and splice the soundtrack. You just simply cut and splice the the audio the uh, the uh, video version to suit the impression that you're trying to give to the audience. Okay, now this is this is to demonstrate the third camera angle, which is intended to take a picture of both subjects as they are facing each other, talking with each other. It gives another sense of bringing you into a third party perspective as if you're observing two people having a conversation and it just demonstrates the uh, oh the presence of the audience being able to listen in on a very important conversation so now this is chair number one looking at the camera and now I'm sitting in chair number two so you can see that at, at occasionally during the interview you'll cut to this shot in order to uh, just establish a sense of continuity. You may do it when the conversation switches from the end of one answer to the beginning of the next question. And it's kind of a transitional kind of shot so that you can uh, just adds to the uh, fullness of the experience of viewing uh, a in-person, two-person interview. Okay, so now it's zooming out, and you can have the uh, third person uh, captured separately, apart from the other two people. If he's turned and asking a question or responding uh, to chair number one, or if he's looking over at chair number two and responding, you can capture that. Or you have the ability to capture uh, all three people or all three subjects in one picture. Now, you won't do this uh, very often, but occasionally the extra perspective adds rich richness to the uh, video uh, viewing experience. And this is just to demonstrate what the range of potential is for the various camera shots and angles that can capture uh, what you're trying to uh, portray to the audience and it depends on depending on the type of question that's asked depending on if there's answers given by two people let's say the same question is answered in two separate ways by two different people you have the ability to give those uh, answers twice uh, with two different points of view so uh, the in-person interview is very powerful when it comes to training or informing if you inform people a uh, subject matter they're interested in, uh, or if you want to get the facts out about what's real and what's not real, you can have experts express their opinion. And uh, the, this format it allows for you to establish a lot of credibility for the uh, information that you're trying to present. Okay, that's it. Happy interviewing.